This lesson is solving linear equations. The goal is to solve linear equations. This is a review from Algebra 1. What you should understand by the end of this lesson is that solving linear equations is just a matter of undoing the operations that are being done to the variable. The task is always to isolate the variable, which means to get it alone on one side of the equal sign and a number on the other. Remember when solving equations to keep the equation balanced by making the same changes to both sides of the equal sign. Solve for k. I have a 10 on one side and a k plus 7. To get the k all by itself, I undo the operation, which is minus 7. To keep it balanced, I do it on both sides k equals 10 minus 7 is 3. To check it, I can put 3 plus 7 equals 10. And since that works out, we know that 3 is the right answer. When you have an equation with a number on the bottom or in the denominator, we have to get rid of that first. We get rid of it by multiplying both sides times that number. So I'm going to multiply both sides times 2 and I end up with c plus 4 equals 6. I now have to subtract 4 from both sides. I do it to both sides to keep it balanced and I'm left with c equals 2. Now I'm going to check that to see if 2 actually works. So I have 2 plus 4 divided by 2 equals 3. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. And since that works out, I know that c equals 2 is the correct answer. In this problem solving for y, I have a 2, a negative 2, outside a set of parentheses. I can do this one of two ways. I can do the distributive property, multiplying negative 2 times everything that's in parentheses, or if possible, I can take the negative 10 and divide it by negative 2. Well, I can do that evenly, so let's do that first. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, and I'm left with y minus 5 equals 5. Then I am just have one number, minus 5, so I'm going to do the opposite and do it to both sides. That gives me y equals 10. Again, I'm going to check it just to see. So I have negative 2 times 10 minus 5 equals negative 10. I do what's in parentheses first. So I have negative 2 times 5 equals negative 10. Well, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, so I've done it correctly, so y has to equal 10. In this example, I have multiple variables. So I'm just going to combine these and then divide 16 by that. So let's start out with combining my s's. I have 8 minus 5, which is 3s. 3s plus 5s, that equals 16. I divide both sides by 8. I get s equals 2. If I multiply them both by 2, I have 16 minus 10 plus 10 equals 16. Well, 10 minus 10 is 0, and 0 plus 16 is 16. So we've done that right, so we know s equals 2 is also correct. Our last example has a number in the denominator but it also has another number without a denominator. 
we have to get rid of this number first before we multiply. So the first thing I need to do to both sides is subtract 2. That leaves me with m divided by 2 equals 1 because 3 minus 2 is 1. Now all I have left is a number in the denominator. So I'm multiplying both sides by 2 which gives me m equals 2. I'm going to check that by re with replacing m with 2. So I have 2 divided by 2 plus 2 equals 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 plus 2 equals 3. That works out. So m has to equal 2. Now you're going to get a chance to do six practice problems before you do your assignment, but I'd like for you to put where are you on the scale. You don't get it, you sort of get it, you've got it, or you're so good you could teach this. And yes, this is the end. Bye.